Welcome to my home. A hidden gem in southern Thailand. Remember this name, Ranong. Known as Thailand's least populated province, Renong is a gateway to Myanmar with amazingly beautiful nature. I've heard about the name Gopayam for a long time. This is my first time. It's very impressive. We just took a speedboat from Renong for about 40 minutes and we arrived here. The first impression is that there are not many tourists, not many people. It's still very clean and peaceful. I think a lot of people come here to stay uh, for a long stay, like many nights or maybe months or even a year. From Renan Customs Pier, we can go to Myanmar's many beautiful islands. We stopped by Gotong Town in southern Myanmar for immigration check before aiming towards one of the most virgin islands. 75 minutes from Renan and we have arrived here, Cupburn's Island. The viewpoint is located on like a little cape so we can see both sides of the islands. have lunch. Uh, there are only about 60 people today. This side of the island is very beautiful. You see the sand is really white and the color of the sea is really like two colors like light blue and deep blue. Welcome to Bonham Ron. Uh, this is Ronald's Hot Springs and I'm so proud to introduce you this place because when I grew up I came here a lot of times. Ronald is actually my grandma and my mom's hometown and this place is actually the center of the local community here. Uh, if you don't know where to go, you come here to Bonham Ron and around here there are three main wells. This is we call the father's well. Nearby there's mother's well and daughter's well. The temperature is quite hot, it's 65 degrees Celsius here, so uh, don't touch the water, but you can dip your feet into some of the areas they arrange for us. The water there is around 40 or 35 degrees. Apart from Raksa Warin Hot Springs, there's another hot springs located out of town in a jungle. The name is Pondrang Hot Springs. The hot springs here in Renong are purest in Thailand as there's no sulfur. This is one of the most familiar places for me in Renong because my family members always came here every time I came back to Renong. 
So we grew up with this place, Phu Khao Ya, or the Grass Mountain. The special thing is that you cannot see like trees growing up on the mountains. It's always like bald mountain or just grass. Here we are at the top of Phu Khao Ya. Not too far. At Pratinang Ratana Rangsan or yes. Ratana Rangsan Palace. Yes. Yeah, so King Ratha V, King Jolalongkan has been here. Yes, uh, like our ex governor uh, want to impress him when he said he wants to come to visit Ranong, mm -hmm. he will build a palace for him to uh, stay for feel comfortable. Yes. And like, uh, so like we see like this, but uh, actually the the palace we see now today uh -huh. is a model, so it's a little bit smaller. I love the architecture as well. Yes, yes. it like southern style. Southern style. King Chulalongkorn or King Rama V of Thailand has made a grand royal tour of Malay Peninsula in 1890. His Majesty came from Bangkok to Chimpon by boat, then rode an elephant to Ranong and stayed at this palace for three nights before moving down south to many more destinations, including Penang and Singapore. Kao Su Jian, Renong's first governor, traveled from Fujian in China to Penang in 1822 and worked there before moving to Panga and Renong under the reign of King Rama III. He was then bestowed the title Prayadam Rong Sujarit Mahitsan Pakdi by King Rama V. He is the origin of Naranong family, of which later generations became rulers in many parts of southern Thailand. Actually, the area of uh, the residence of the first governor of Renong is quite big. Yes. How, how big is this? Uh, 37 rai. 37 rai? Yes. Okay. And the, the land has been given by... The by the king, king, yes. Because uh, he worked uh, with uh, royalty and worked hard for mm. people. Mm. So that's why the king um, mm. want to give him a big place like this yes. to return his uh, good thing that he made to Renong. So actually, Renong does not only have like beautiful beaches and beautiful nature, but it also has a lot of history yes. to learn about. Yes, absolutely. This is named Fashi Mountain. Fashi Mountain. Kao Fashi. Right? Kao Fashi. Ah. Uh, from this view, you can see uh, the small island that belong to Thailand, uh, Lanong, and belong to Myanmar. Mountain, very long is Myanmar. Okay, so I never knew before, I think a lot of people never knew before that Ranong has this amazing viewpoint. That we can see like both Thailand side, Myanmar side, and also uh, many, many islets island and around. The river. That flows to the ocean. Yes. And especially a lot of green space. What are these areas? Mangrove. Mangroves. Yeah. So Ranong has one of the uh, largest mangrove forests in the world. Yes. Also, on uh, at the morning you can see the mist ah, all around. Okay. So you can come both morning time and in the evening time. Yes. But today we're gonna wait for the sunset. Every time I'm back home here in Renault. Thank you so much for all my friends and families who made this trip a memorable one. I hope you enjoyed Renault like I did. Stay tuned for the next episode. 
please subscribe. Miracle, Miracle Thailand.